Hello and welcome to Traditional Painting the Digital Way. This is where I use digital painting apps to teach traditional painting techniques. This is part two of my seascape lesson and in this video we're going to add details to the clouds and further refine them. If you're following along traditionally check out part one in this series for a list of all the paints that I use and all the canvas and the brushes. We're going to be using Infinite Painter for Android and we're going to go ahead and start out by using the Vince brush to go ahead and start refining our clouds. So we want to go ahead and start with a sort of salmon orange color and you can get this by using cadmium orange light or cadmium orange and mix it with cadmium red light and then add a bunch of white to it and this will kind of give you this salmony peach color. So I'm going to go ahead and add this darker orange and put it in the clouds on the edges where the wisps stick out and there are several different pockets of darker orange and you want to go ahead and use your photo reference to see where they're at but they they're little wispy clouds on the edges and it also is underneath the bottom on some of the puffy parts of the clouds if you're following along traditionally your number eight filbert brush will work really well for this type of work because it has a rounded edge and you can also use it to dry brush the color on and dry brushing is when you don't have a lot of paint on your brush you just have a little bit so that you can scrub it onto your canvas and make it look really fluffy and thin and then here I wanted to go ahead and add back some of the blue to the sky so I'm using an ultramarine blue color with maybe a little bit of purple and throwing in some cadmium red light and just adding that back in and, and cutting the clouds down just a little bit because I want more of the sky to show through with the clouds. And you go ahead and use your filbert and just scrub the edges out real good. And here I want to go ahead and use the Mirando brush. I think I called it Mirando brush last, in the last video, but I think it's actually after a, a famous graffiti artist from New York and so I think the name is Mirando. You'll have to check with Sean Brakefield for sure but he's the one that named Sean is the developer and he named all the brushes after famous artists and Mirando is a famous artist from New York and he does graffiti and and style art and tattoos and stuff like that so Anyway, that brush works really well to go ahead and blend the sky out. And then let's go ahead and start doing more detailed work to the clouds now. So you can take cadmium orange and add some white and make some lighter orange colors and some darker orange colors. And we want to make kind of cotton ball shapes for the edges of the clouds. So I'm just going around and adding sort of that medium orange color into the clouds right here. And then you can go ahead and add more white to your mixture, switch to a lighter orange, and go ahead and add the more uh, detailed work to the clouds. So these would be kind of like cotton ball edges. And you just go ahead and add that up to the, on the top too where you see lighter areas of your clouds. And then you do the same thing with the dark mixture. You can use dioxazine purple with maybe some ultramarine blue or a little bit of burnt sienna if you want to make it look a little bit grayer. And go ahead and find the dark places in your photo reference and add those into your painting. And you want to go ahead and leave some of the edges a little bit sharper, but you want to blend in on the bottom of the cloud. You want to blend it in with the orange colors a little bit more. And just go ahead and keep doing this back and forth 
just further refining and you'll have to do several layers of this because you're you're trying to get the colors that you see in your photo reference but you eventually will want the details to show up on your cloud so right now we're kind of in the intermediate stage we're not ready for the final details yet but we're trying to put in the light and dark areas of the cloud here and you just go ahead and blend them in you can blend them in with your brush you know with just a little bit of paint on it or you can use your finger or you can use a paper towel and of course with infinite painter i'm using the mirando brush and then you just go ahead and add the little wisps that appear in your the are on your photographic reference there and just go ahead and add the little wisps that are over the big puffy clouds and this kind of gives your clouds a three-dimensional look if you go ahead and add these right on the edges here and just keep working on them keep smudging them in a little bit but not eliminating all the hard edges you want to keep some of the edges a little bit and go ahead and add back the light to it because you can see the there's orange color in the dark too so go ahead and use your middle orange color with cadmium orange and just mix it in with the purple a little bit smudge it in there and just keep doing this back and forth that's what that's how you make clouds pockets of light and pockets of dark and so just go ahead up to the top put some more salmon color in add some to the sky because there's little thin clouds that are above your big puffy clouds and then go ahead and add it way at the top because there's some orange up there on in the clouds up there add them on the left side of your picture and then add some to the dark on the left side of your picture and then I want to go ahead and start refining the edges of the clouds on the right side and you can use a light yellow color maybe with cadmium yellow light and make it not completely white we don't want completely white because that'll make it too chalky but we want to go ahead and add a little bit on the edges of those clouds to make them look like puffy cotton balls and then you can throw in some cadmium red light with lots of white to give it the pink color there go back and add in some darker orange and make the bottom of the clouds look a little bit darker and then you can come down below that and make another pocket of light and this is how you make your cloud shapes you just make contrasts against each other you put it down a dark color and then you put down a lighter color and you just keep on doing that and you keep on adjusting the shapes and just use a round a round brush stroke like a cotton ball and just keep adding that in the really puffy parts of your clouds and throw in cadmium yellow light with lots of white and oranges pinks just keep working on those layers till you get kind of a defined shape and here we don't want to totally delete the heart edges we we don't want to smudge them out we want to smudge them out at the bottom but not at the top and that just kind of gives the shape of the the billowy look of your clouds and then again let's add some dark that makes the contrast against the light right there and just go ahead and add it on the bottom of the clouds here and keep it soft but you can keep some of the edges of the dark a little bit harder because we're starting to show more structure to the cloud here and just go ahead and add the shadowed side of the clouds here so then you go ahead and you can add different shades of purple if you want to it doesn't have to be all the same either in fact you need to add different shades of purple because that gives variations to your cloud and it just makes it prettier and it looks more realistic because the lights bouncing 
off of the clouds anyway so it's going to give it different colors so you just want to go ahead and do that because it'll it'll make your clouds look prettier and more interesting for your picture and then you can go ahead and smudge it out again a little bit more and leave a little bit of the hard edges anyway this is the end of part two of our seascape lesson and in part three we're going to go ahead and put the final details on the clouds and we're going to go ahead and also start on the far off distant mountain and do the sea as well so thanks everybody for watching thank you for all your support if you have any questions just leave them in the comments down below and i will catch you later